Hi everybody, welcome back to this week's Tuesday Tip. Today we're gonna to be talking about first meet, its expectations, first meets of the season. We have the Shark Frenzy coming up this Saturday and uh, I just wanna run through some stuff with you guys, talking about what you should expect, what you should be focusing on during the meet and what you're hopefully getting out of it. So the first thing I wanna talk about is you talking to your coaches before and after races. Uh, that is one of the most important activities you as an athlete can be doing at a swim meet. Uh, it doesn't even have to apply to this first one. It should be done every time. Make sure that you're talking to your coaches before the race, coming up with a strategic plan, something to focus on, something you've been working on in practice, and getting hyped up for your race. Once you are done with your race, go back to your coach and review. Talk about something that went well, something that didn't go well, something we need to be working on. That's how we grow as an athlete. And make sure that you are paying attention to improving, okay? That's the main focus out of most of these meets. Second thing I wanna be talking about is cheering on teammates, being a good and supportive teammate. Whenever you're not swimming, be on your feet, be loud and be silly for your teammates, okay? They're there working with you in those workouts and those hard practices. And when meet comes around, show your support, be loud, be vocal. Now, talking about meet warmups. Going into a meet, it's gonna be significantly more crowded than what you're used to. So, ask your coach if you can practice running through the meet warmup a few times. Be on top of it. Um, you only have an allotted amount of time. Most of the time at these meets, it's about 25 minutes. Make sure that you're using the, that time wisely. Before anything though, at these meets, make sure that there's a positive check-in. If there is, sign your name in go up to uh the sheet either if it's on a table or a person helping out at the positive check-in table sign your name in make sure that there is a positive check-in and that you have positively checked in make sure that you develop and set up realistic expectations for those of you that are seasoned vets and have gone to many swim meets in your swimming career you're most likely not going to be going best times in that first meet of each season so Instead of focusing on a number and allowing that number to dictate if you're happy with a swim or not, focus on improving a certain aspect of your swim, something that you've reviewed with your coach talking prior to the race and after the race. It's okay to not go best times. It's totally fine. What's not okay is if you go that time and you take nothing out of it, if it, you learn nothing from it. And finally, just to wrap up the conversation, make sure you're completely prepared. Bring two sets of towels, snacks that you enjoy. Uh, swim meets can be long. You need to make sure that you're taking care of yourself, giving yourself the proper fuel, recovering from those long sessions at swim meets as well. Stay properly hydrated and make sure you're looking out for each other. Thank you for joining this week's Tuesday Tip. Have a great rest of your evening uh, or day and uh, I'll see you next time.